Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a component. We have seen both functional component and also the functional component and also class component we have created. Now in this video, we will try to send some data to the component so that we can use the data in that component. How we can use that one? Sending input to the component. For example, if you try to see here the scenario, the two buttons is displaying the same text. So Leela webdo and Leela webdo. And the text here is also hello world by Leela webdo it is showing. So it could be better that so we may we if, if we say this na button name button name and the text name if we say from the component to the component if we send the data to the component it will be better in the in a in angular or view we will be sending the data using the props and the input right in the same scenario the react js also provides us with the same scenario so here if you want to send the name just write the name here name is equal to whatever the this this will be the na name whatever the name you want you can mention you can mention it as button name or name or something like this so whatever the name you can mention here i am writing first button okay and here also what i will try to do is so first button and another one is the name second button okay in the same scenario here i can send text is equal to hello world good morning or something like this okay whatever the text you want you can send it and you want to take this value and need to display in the component so how we can take this value in the first let's see the functional component in the functional component here we are having the button component right so in this button so we can take using uh, so this method will say will give us automatically defaultly one parameter that is nothing but the props we will be having one parameter that is props so using these props we can use these props and we can display the data whatever the component we are sending we will be able to get the data right now we are sending only one data right so now we can use it using props dot name here props dot name you need to remember that we need to give only the single bracket single flower flower bracket like this okay props dot name so we have given the props dot name and if i try to see the output see here it has shifted to first button and the second button we are able to see the buttons now if i want to here in the same scenario if i want to do this one so how can i do now here in this one what we can do is so we need to display as this one is a class you will be having this dot props dot okay text we have the text right so we need to display like this this dot props dot text and here you will be able to see that hello world good morning and another one if i want to use another text like this so here i can do and leela web dev hello world welcome leela so whatever the text you want you can send it if i check here you will be able to see another component also okay so in this way we can send the data to the components like this name and the text here we can access in the class component using this dot props dot text but in the functional you will be use you can directly have the parameter as a props so you will be getting the to the function as a parameter as a props and you can use it like this some people what they will be doing is so you they will be, they will be using the spread operator and they will extract that object uh, keys from that object and you can directly use like this also this is also the convenient way so this in this way also you can use it so in order to explain to you so they will be using this Restructuring, uh, destructuring thing, and they will be using ES6 uh, syntax. This one all. So this is uh, this one. This is how we will be using the props. So uh, using the props, you will be getting the uh, from the car to the components to here. So now you will be you you need to remember one thing that so whether you declare a function, so whether you declare a function or a class, so whether it is a function or a class, you need to remember one thing that props should never be modified. Okay. So we should not modify the props for example if i want to change it to name is equal to here leela something like this okay so this one is not supported here if you try to see so here you are able to see here for, for example if i want to change something like props okay so no props dot name if i want to change this one if i try to see the output see here you will be able to see that unexpected use of name no restrictor such for the keywords like this it is saying so for example if i want to oh sorry here you will be able to see i think props dot name if i want to change okay so 
So now here you will be able to see that cannot assign to read only property object. So we cannot, we should not, we cannot write not, we should not change the props. Why? Because React is very flexible, but it has one strict rule you need to remember. What is that? What is that rule is? All React components must act like a pure functions with respect to props. That means you should never change the props data, whether it is a class or function. The component should react as a pure functions with respect to the props. So, so that means what is a pure function? So, what we can say is, so when you uh, when we call it as a pure function is, for example, if you are sending the uh, input same inputs. So for, for sending the same inputs, it should always return the same output, okay. So that is nothing but the pure functions. For example, you are sending A, A comma B. So for example, here you will be having something like, oh. so you, you are having some functions, something like sum of A comma B. So when we can say this one as a pure function is, so when we are sending A plus B. So here we are not modifying the parameters, A and B parameters, just we are writing we are returning another output. So we are not modifying anything. This function is called as a pure function. So you will be having some other function, something like function, uh, something get or a comma b. If you are having a comma b or something like this, and if you change the a, a here, if you change the a value here, so parameters, then it is called as an impure function. Okay. So now the components should always be the pure function. So this is one strict rule in the ReactJS. So it should be a pure function whether it is a class component or a functional component you need to remember this one so now you can think of the something like uh, the component should always be the dynamic right so if you are if you are not changing the props or anything so how can the components will become dynamic so ua is based on the dynamic data we need to display dynamic data or something like that then comes the state behavior so, so components also support some uh, data that is nothing but the state so that also follows uh, the pure functional pure function concepts only so in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to and uh, how to declare the variable state variables and all those things so we'll try to see it in the next video so here this is about the props how we how how we can send the data to the components now if you want to send another data also you can send it here text is equal to another one also you can send it and you can use and you can use this variable using name you have passed right so here i can use the text like this and you can use this text variable okay so this is how you will be using the props in the react.js. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.